Good. Start to let the muscles at the back adjust to this flat plane, laying back. Start to let the breath flow, good deep inhales. Exhales. The idea that we're focusing on today is the idea of suddenly it's like you've been set free after being caged up for so long. So there's a lot of people during these couple of months taking some little vacations, doing traveling. And so this means that sometimes we're hooked up in a car or in an airplane for quite some time. And we don't really get a chance to get up and get moving and get stretching. So the idea of to class today is to not only help with circulation, when we're not moving, our circulation isn't very high. In fact, I recently heard on the radio the, they were doing this suggestion that if you, tend, if you have a job where you tend to sit for hours and hours on end, you can, especially if you're over the age of 50, you can decrease the chance of heart disease just by getting up and moving around every couple of hours. So our body needs that circulation. That's definitely what we'll touch on today. Getting our heart pumping, getting muscles squeezing in and out of those blood vessels and getting just good things to flow but also getting our bodies to stretch. We'll include some of that, including some lengthening through the spots that tend to be tight. So that's the idea that we have today. So kind of imagine if you have any trips coming up, just kind of, you know, hand pick a few of your favorites. A few of the favorite poses and movements as we go through class that you could potentially include in a future routine, either right before you're about to Fly, or maybe right after a long road trip or something like that. Something that's some part of your routine that will help you feel a little bit more grounded when you're traveling and kind of punched up for a while. So with that idea to help lead us to class, let's begin to take the knees into the chest, just nice and easy movements to start off. Sometimes this is more about the low back muscles. Sometimes it's about the hips, just kind of getting that chest to rock a little bit. Feel yourself easing into the tight spots. Good. Now let both hands go around the left knee. Try to pull that left side in nice and tight. With this right leg, we're going to kick it up to the sky. Feel how it feels to let that hamstring extend all the way upward. And then from here, this right leg goes down to hover right above the ground. And then lift it right back up where it was. I like to move with my breath, keeping that flowing. So nice exhales when you come up. And pulse the lower. There's seven. Five. Always know you can skip reps if you need to. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Take this right knee into the chest. Give that side a good hug. Pull it in nice and tight so you get that mini stretch as you're going. Left leg starts to extend up to sky for the leg. And when you're ready, start to lower. Inhale. Exhale, return right back up to the stretch. And so here's five, four, three, two, one. 
Good. Both knees into the chest. Just easy rocks for two or three breaths. Both legs back up to the sky. So this one's going to be about trying to lower both legs and then raise them up. My first recommendation, tuck your thumbs under the hips. That will help to keep the hips very grounded, keep the low back on the ground. My second recommendation is we need to listen to our low back. So this first one's kind of like a tester. We'll start to lower down the legs and find that point at which your low back wants to start arching. So when you get to that point, you know, don't let it arch. That's as far as you go. That's your end point, so come back up. Good, so let's start to do some reps from there. Lower down to that end point and exhale back up. Nine. Eight. Helps make sure those the low back doesn't come into pain from this. Here's six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Bending both knees, free out the hands, both knees tilt over to the left for a brief moment. So that low back have a chance to just stretch through some of those muscles. If your knees don't want to touch down to the ground, that's okay. They can be floating a little bit. It's only about going as far as your back muscles are still out. Okay. Knees lift up through the center, tilt over to the other side. Again, easy release for the back muscles. So when the knees come back up, let's tuck our thumbs under the hips again. Legs back up to sky. This time, rather than focusing on lowering the legs, we're going to try to do the opposite. So we're taking our legs into the face, into the chest as high as we can, and then slowly lower the hips back down. So this might just be a little bump for some people, kind of bumping it up and then dropping it back down. For some of us, we might be able to roll almost to plow pose. And make sure you don't just slam your hips back down. So use the core to slowly return. So whatever spot we've got, this one engages the very low part of the rectus abdominis. So let's make sure to keep on including that. If it's ever tough, that's just because that's not a muscle set that we use that often. So that means it's a great one to work with. So it's okay if some are faster, some are slower than my counting, but I'll count about another five. So five, four, three, two, And one. Good efforts. Let's hug back around the bent right knee. Drop the left leg all the way down to the ground. So keep on grounding the left leg and send some energy down it. The calf is touching the ground. The heel is touching the ground. It's trying to stay very, very much connected with the earth. And then see if this right knee can get pulled in just a little bit tighter.
good. Keep both hands clasped, but back off of the stretch a little bit. And then start to swing the right knee as wide as it can go with both hands clasped. So kind of aiming toward elbow, bicep area on that right arm. Good, and then back off of that spot. Try to take both hands clasping around the knee, pull the knee now in toward left shoulder. This is an angle that won't let it go super far, but you can feel how it gets right into that outer part of the feet. Just enjoy the breath which you right there. Beautiful. So as you release, keep this left leg grounded, open the arms out to left and right. Take this right leg up to sky, pointed toes or flexed foot, that's your preference. We're gonna do five circles to one direction and then five circles to the other direction. So first start off dropping the leg to cross in past the midline, drop down, go around and up. So in that direction, another four. Inhale, exhale down three and inhale up. Two. And one, good, reverse, wide, in to lift. Four, three, two, and one. Good, drop the right heel to the ground. Start to ground that side heel and half pushing down. Hug around this left knee, pulling it directly in at first. Loosen it up just a little bit so we can swing the knee wide toward elbow bicep area. And backing off a little bit, aim the knee toward the right shoulder, even if it's just that inch or two. Open the arms back out, leg up to the sky. Always know if you need to make the circle a little shorter, that's okay. So let's cross over the body to drop down, go around, and up. Here's four, three, the breath flowing, two, and one. And then reverse, so wide to cross in and travel up. Here's Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Both these bend in for just a breath or two. Give some of that easy rocking. both legs back up to sky. We're gonna do some um, leg circles with both legs at the same time. So I recommend the thumb tuck right up the hips again. We're gonna start off super small and then you have the option to get larger if you want to. So think of a tennis ball, trace the tennis ball to a clockwise direction and then counterclockwise. Just keep it at tennis ball size for a little while. You want to start heading to the basketball, it's okay. If you always are allowed to take little breaks, it's never an issue. Maybe heading to beach ball sides. Maybe you're continuing to spiral bigger, only if the low back doesn't arch up the ground. The moment it starts to arch, that's where we risk pain. So it's not worth it. So 
So maybe three more to each direction, whatever size we're at. And three, two, one. And one. Hug around the right knee, drop the left leg back down to the ground. Pull this right knee in nice and tight. And start to cross the right knee over the body, heading to a slightly different twist than before. Trying to keep the right shoulder connected to the earth. Sometimes I'll even gaze over the right hand so the neck can be part of it. Good. Hips to relax back, relax back to earth. Right leg slides long. Left knee in. Give it that good hug. And we'll start to aim the leg over the body. And that nice twist, maybe into the neck again, if that felt good before. Exhale, hips down. From here, let's take both legs back up to sky. And we're going to do tiny little crunches that get our fingers to try to touch up to the toes. So this one includes uh, more of the upper part of the ribs now, so closer to the rib region area. I'm going to count 20 quick ones, but you could go slower or you could just do fewer reps up to you. But we're going to start here. Touching up here is 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, nice exhales, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax the head down, legs open up wide, bring hands to inner thighs. If you ever want to bend the knee, that's perfectly fine. If the legs have had a lot of time draining blood out, kind of one of my methods of madness today, sometimes when we go traveling, the not moving makes us swell up a little bit extra, especially on the feet, or sometimes even the walking extra that we do when we're traveling. And so this draining of the blood and the lift out of our legs can actually be really beneficial. That's why we're spending so much time with feet up in the air today. So let's take the knees back together and then rip, hands clasp around this right knee. Take the left leg up to the sky and then lower the straight leg down. And then take the left knee in, hands switch. So right leg up to the sky and lower down to hover above the ground. And it comes in, switch. So these are biceps. This nice slow pace is really nice to make sure that I'm including the stretch, that full extension of the leg up to the sky. If at any point you want to increase the tempo, you could absolutely do so, making it more of a continuous circle rather than just one side at a time. I'll do a countdown. Obviously, if you need breaks or if you need to go faster, slower, all of that's good. But here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Good work. So let the bottoms of feet come together. 
they're on the floor, let the knees just slide open for a couple of breaths. You could have stillness here, or you could kind of rock your hips. One knee lifts a little bit, and then when it drops down, it kind of lifts the other one up. Just kind of rocking back and forth, if that feels good. Okay, so next, knees come back up together, legs back up to sky, arms reach up overhead, inhale, exhale, touch both arms to the outside of one hip. Inhale, return, exhale, second side. Switch back and forth each time. Here's 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 5, 4, Three, three, two, two, one, and one. Then the knees, cut the feet down, and then clasp the hands behind the head, pulling the neck up to the sternum for a nice little back of neck stretch. So this is fine, just kind of staying here. Get the, the weight of the head heavy backwards, so there's no muscular effort to lift. Or movement sometimes is nice, kind of inching the elbows forward and back. If there's ever a spot that's particularly tight, you can always pause there for a little bit longer. Good. So start to open up the elbows from here. Take your right knee into the chest. Left leg hovers out at a good angle. Lower is harder, higher is easier. And then whatever angle you choose, you're twisting the left elbow to the right knee. Then switch. Here's 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax the head down, right leg up to sky, left leg to floor, just pull it in for a nice hamstring stretch. Right leg starts to drop all the way down, and then left leg lifts up. Grab onto it, pull in. And we'll do some straight leg switches. So when right leg comes up, hands can switch there. Left leg hovers to the spot right above the ground, and then switch again. You can choose the pace. You could also choose to increase difficulty by not using hands at all. It's muscular effort holding each leg up. So don't feel like you have to stick with the harder version forever if you want to join hands back in. Increasing reps, that's okay. Let's try to go for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, one. Beautiful, bend the knees, bend both feet. Our, our hands are on the floor by the hips. Let's take just five normal bridge poses. So roll the hips up one vertebrae at a time. Exhale, roll all the way back to the top. Roll that floor. And back down. There's three. Two. One. Good. Rest the hips back down, kind of shaking your hips left and right, left and right. Just a little bit of easing for that sacral area. Okay. This next one's about that ankle area. So we're gonna lift back up to bridge pose and then the heels are gonna lift up and down. We're gonna try out 10, see how that feels on our ankles. So lift the hips all the way up, stay, and then heels up and down. Try not to slam it, try to go slowly. And seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Leave the heels down, try to lift the hips up higher. And then the hips are gonna go up and down an inch, and down an inch, up and down. Here's 15, 14, 13, 12. Try to keep the knees slightly in. And 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll the hips back all the way to the earth. Scoot the feet just a little bit wider. Take a few windshield wipers. Knees tilt over to the left. And knees tilt over to the right. Beautiful. Okay, so let's come right back through the center. This one right here is probably one of the hardest things that we're going to do today. And so if you can't do the whole thing, don't feel bad about yourself. I'll, I'll remind you of one that we've done already that's super similar to it. So this is called the teaser. The legs for the hard version start up long and arms are up overhead. And then with a huge exhale, we come up to sit in both poses. Then use your core to slowly roll back down. So if you want to try that hard version, that's okay. A mini version similar to that would be the one where we take our thumbs under the hips and then the legs work on lowering and raising. It does a similar action, but it's just isolated to the legs rather than the whole core. So do what you can do. Let's I'm going to say we're trying 10, but if we can't do 10, that's okay. This is a lot. So take an inhale, prep. Exhale, we're up. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. And four, three, two, one. Amazing. Let's come up to sit. Let's just let ourselves stretch over our two legs. These could wiggle if you want. The back could wiggle. The head can rock left and right. Just have to fill any spots that are particularly tight. Give it a good breath or
rolling back up to this tall seated place. We inhale, we're sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, we round and we use the core to control, going only as far back as we can still have that easy control. Exhale, just to sit right back up. So just like that, follow your breaths. Exhale, all the sit. Nine. Eight. Doesn't have to be as big as anybody else. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Try to pick up through boat pose. The head smoothly into cobbler. Bottoms of feet together, knees open. Feel free to tilt forward if that feels nice. lift in any direction. Let's find the hands on the floor and then start to walk hands slowly over toward the angle of this right thigh. Sitting out to that direction. If either hip starts to lift, that's a sign don't go quite that far. Ease their way slowly to the center. Over toward that left side. Get right back to the center. Two bonus breaths, pulling those back muscles relaxed. We did a lot of work on the ground. We don't always acknowledge how much our back works as we're including the core, but the back is part of the core. Good. So easy rise up. We'll take it to a comfortable seated place. From here, the arms out to each side. We're going to make the thumbs up. Pop the thumbs up and down. There's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thumbs down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thumbs forward. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rotate back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take the right arm across the chest. Gently pull it in. I like to try to drop that right shoulder down, even tilt my head away from that right shoulder. Good, easy, open back out. And left arm across. And hands behind us, feet planted in front of us. This will be tricep dips. So lifting the hips up, we bend the elbows, and then press the elbows straight. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Sitting down for a moment. Let yourself have some more space. Go back and forth between hands forward and then to the side to come back. Just kind of feel how the arms are at this point. Okay. So let's take it toward an elbow plane. If we need to make it easier, you can also drop down to knees. The stance of the feet is going to be slightly wide. That will help with balance. So the idea here is from this elbow plane, one elbow is going to lift up toward the sky, and the other elbow is going to lift up. Rocking back and forth. Not only including those shoulders and arms, but also including the oblique muscles. Remember to breathe. Exhale. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Drop the knees down, head to a moment with a nice child pose. Feel free to allow the arms to be either forward or tucked back, whatever feels good. So torso up, let's step our left foot forward, put the hands on the floor at first, start to sink the hips forward, if the knee goes past toes, that's a sign to scoot the toes further forward. So nice and deep, with all those lifting of the legs we did earlier, that should stretch your psoas super nice and right. Only if that psoas is okay at once more, then maybe walk hands up to the side. Or even open up the arms behind. Whatever feels good. Good. Shift the hips over the back knee, front leg goes straight, and bow back down into that half straight stretch. If you take a breath or two with the toes tilt back like this as high as possible. Then take a breath or two pointing the toes. Well, how that shifts the stretch completely to the foot. So based on your foot and your ankle, then choose the spot that's best for you. Toes up tends to get us much more in the calf stretch, toes down much more in the foot ankle stretch. So your breath. Bending that front knee, we're going to lift up the back knee, coming up to balance. So if your stance needs to be a bit wider, even off the mat, that'll make the balance easier. More in line is harder, so choose your balance. And then from this balance, this uh, front heel is going to try to lift and slowly lower. Nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, hands down. Step this front foot back to plank. Let's do a couple of push ups. You could drop to kneeling plank if that makes it easier. So I'll do a count of 10 if you need to go faster, slower, whatever you need to do. That's okay. So here's 10. 
Maybe coming up past the thigh to deepen the experience. Just make sure you don't back the hips away. They're still sinking just as far forward as they were before. But arch back more if you wish. Should, should be on the opposite. Yeah, that's okay. Go ahead and take the second thing. <laughs> Good thing you caught it now. <laughs> yeah, usually I start with right, so, so I apologize. <laughs> a breath or two just to help balance it that's okay and then eventually let the leg go straight going down start off with toes peeled up as high as you can pull the calf maybe try toes pointing down as much as possible fill the ankle foot area And choose your favorite of the two. Or you can have that steadiness. When you're ready, front the lifts and lowers. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And step up to the top of the mat. Bring the big toes to touch. We're going to go back and forth between straight legs. Heels raise up. Try not to go too fast. It's not just about heels up and then heels slamming down. Try to slowly lower. Good. So then when we sit back into fierce pose, the arms swing up. Heels lift. And lower. Hands down, straighten the legs. Heels lift. And lower, sit back, Let's lift, lower, good. Let's take three more complete rounds. Up, down, see if you can make, make each one a little bit steadier than the previous. Last one, the steadiest of all. Good. We'll straighten the legs, sweep the arms up to the sky. One more fold. Half half lift. So plant the hands, travel back to push-up position, knees up or down. Final 10, and that's it for our workout today. So going down and up. Breathe. Nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Take a child pose. Upright, you should be sitting on the feet. So take your right hand to the right side just to help you balance. The further you go to the right, the easier it is. Left hand is on the left knee. Try to help it lift until you get that front of the ankle area stretch. Again, further is easier. More up and over it is easier. Right, let's lower this side down. And up the other side. Lowering it down, come to all fours, maybe circling the toes for a moment or pounding. Good. Try to get all 10 toes to tuck. We'll start to transfer some weight back to the heels. So hands forward would make this easier on the fascia of the feet that are stretching. More and more weight upright makes it deeper. So don't know that you don't have to go the full weight. Always drop forward a little bit. Let's try to see if we can take about three slow, steady breaths. We're all three. Can you see your way forward? Interval circles are toe pounding. Making our way down to sit. Choose a last seated posture that your body might want to take. So maybe this is cobbler for some of us. Maybe it's straight leg forward fold or wide leg forward fold. Choose the one that feels like it would help your body the most right here. And just take a couple of good deep breaths, easing into it. all that work, almost like we're starting to return that journey back to home after the travels. There's something special about being home. It just feels different. Let's travel down onto our backs. Make sure there's enough mat space behind you. Use the core, try to slowly lower it down. If there's any last stretches that you want to take while you're on your back here before Shavasana, that's okay. Child pose, a twist, cloud pose. So anything that feels amazing for a few bonus breaths, that's absolutely fine. Some point sooner or later, we'll all come into our final Shavasana resting pose. But don't feel rushed into it. You can take as much time as your body wants to kind of ease some of these last tightness out. Sooner or later, when you're ready to just rest, like we're using the breath to help guide us back home. That home being living more and more in the now. Anywhere can be like a vacation. We live here in the now. Like each each moment is a gift. Very precious thing. It's like the experiences we're always seeking after in our travels. The inhales and exhales to just come home to right here, right now.
you're beginning to take the inhales. And the exhales. Introducing little movements back to fingers and toes. Muscles and wrists. Stretching out like we're waking up first thing in the morning. Take a nice fetal position up to one side. Join a few bonus breaths, maybe two or three good cycles. Until sooner or later, you feel ready to rest. hands together in front of the heart once we're up. Just taking a few good breaths, we feel ourselves the presence at oneness with our body. We recognize that it doesn't matter where we go. Adventures are always fun. But here, the now, that's where that true power is. That's where home is. That's where we can ground into. So with this idea to lead us on, let's wrap up the time we shared together with the sound of home. Taking a deep inhale now. May we be filled with light, happiness, and peace. Namaste.